Good Thursday morning. It's me again. Trust everyone's having a good day. Um, a little wet outside, I know, but sun will shine and it won't be long and we'll be covered in snow. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, but missed Sunday. I uh, didn't lay out. We was out of town. Um, so again, as always, thankful for our technology people who uh, video and put it up and, and do the things that they do um, that we're able to enjoy uh, and, and be part of it when we're unable to be part of it. Um, so definitely thankful for, for that and being able to go and watch um, the message. Thankful for the, the messenger uh, being obedient and uh, starting a new series here wise men still seek him so uh entitled today's god's way um toward the end of the message there brother tj was talking about um you know god's got a way um and and love love the christmas time i uh, love the the stories um that you know tell of the birth of our savior um and, and brother tj was in matthew in chapter two and, and was starting out in the very beginning. It says, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod, the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we are come to worship him. Um, and then from that, Brother TJ talked about uh, the wise men and um, the things that wise men do still today, um, as far as, seek him and worship him um trust him and all these things uh and then he tied it all in with um you know if we come to jesus we got to come his way and then he shared this verse of scripture in proverbs 3 5 and 6 trust in the lord with all thy heart lean not into thy own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths um and so when we look at this and and did not know Brother TJ was going to be preaching on this. Um, we have, again, we was going this weekend, had our Mullins family shindig where about 30 or 40 get together. And um, we have Christmas there in, in Pigeon Forge. And uh, a good time, good time, uh, good time to eat and, and stuff. And then each year they ask me to do a devotion and, and share with the family. And, uh, and so this past year, uh, on Saturday night when we did it, I was speaking out of Matthew uh, chapter 1, when, um, which begins the Christmas story, on uh, Joseph and how that Joseph being a just and upright man, and again, been a, uh, trying to take care of Mary, um, and, you know, that an angel came and was basically outlining what's going to be taking place. Um and joseph scared going to put you know didn't know what to do the angel comes and tells him you know uh fear not you know god's got a plan and so then you go to luke in chapter two and we get the christmas story but a lot of background information as well there on mary who came and you know was told that she would be with child um you know even though even though she was a virgin had never been with a man um but was conceived of the Holy Ghost and uh, gave birth to Jesus. And it was God coming to earth as a man. Um, and so we see here the same thing that Brother TJ is talking about with these wise men, uh, the same thing we see with Joseph, the same thing we see with Mary. Um, you know, and a lot of people do the nativity scenes and celebrate Christmas and Santa Claus and candy canes and all the things that... Um, we've kind of put in in the Christmas story but what amazes me about the Christmas story is that God's got a plan um, God's always got a plan and you know these wise men um, they're going to get out and and follow a star and you know just uh, you know you, you go outside and, and you look up and of course right now you probably see rain um, but if you know you go out on a clear night when the stars are all shining and, and you see one star and, you know, and you just started following that, uh, people's going to think you uh, have lost it. And 
But yet the wise men who had studied, uh, they understood and they knew and they had been anticipating um, a Messiah. And, and then you have Joseph, a simple carpenter, uh, who was, you know, uh, a just man. And an angel came and told them the story, told him the story of what was going to take place in, a Mar in Mary and how in her innocence as a young teenage girl that an angel came and told them their story. And, and they put their trust in God's plan. These wise men put their trust in God's plan. And, and you know, the point of it is this. God's still got a plan today. Um, you know, on this Thursday morning, God has a plan for your life. And I don't know why, but maybe there's someone who's listened to this and you feel God's given up on you. Maybe you've given up on yourself. Maybe you've blown it like nobody's business here in 2022 and it's the end. And, you know, you just don't think God can ever forgive you. Well, God's got a plan. The same plan that he brought forth and gave to Joseph, the same plan that he brought forth through an angel and gave to Mary, and the same uh, plan that, that he gave to these wise men. Um, you know, it didn't make a whole lot of sense, and maybe the plan that God has for your life, you don't understand it. The purpose of Christmas is a reminder to us to trust God's plan. Um, you know, the same as back in... In the days of Bethlehem, when these wise men came from afar, uh, seeking a baby, that you know, um, with his mother, um, and you know, with Joseph, um, the same way with Joseph before, you know, we had our first Christmas. He he trusted God had a plan. Mary trusted that God had a plan. They didn't take things into their own hand. They just trusted God's plan. You know, and if you read on down into in Luke, you know, and when Jesus was born and it's kind of like when everything came together and the heavenly host came, you know, um, and, and worship was the only response. And it's no different today when we trust God's plan and, and when we see it come together, worship will be our only response. Um, you know, and sometimes that God calls us to worship even before we see the plan. Uh come come to full circle and so today my challenge to you is if you think you've blown it um if you think you're you know there's no hope um there is hope and the reason there's hope is because god's got a plan and his word is full of his promises um and and, and god's never failed in any of his promises um so my challenge to you today is, is to trust, you know, wise men still seek him. Um, and we, he calls us to seek him even when we don't understand. Uh, so I pray that you have a great day and that you'll remember it's not hopeless because God's got a plan. He always has a plan, not just on, not for Christmas, but each and every day. So God bless you. Have a great day.